Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate your support. Please consider subscribing. For those that are new to the channel, what I do is I take electronic projects from old magazines and I build them and bring them to life. So that's what I do. I'm here to entertain, not so much to educate, just to entertain. So today's project will be a uh, a, a curve tracer, a curve tracer from an old Electronics Today International, January 1979. Yes, that's like 46 years ago. And it's pretty simple. I, I, I figured, why not? Let's build it. I've seen another one in radio electronics, which is very complex. So I'm hoping this one gives uh, similar results. So what we're looking at now is a typical uh, characteristic curve of a transistor. And you can see there's different steps on the uh, vertical axis, of course, is the current, uh, the collector current. And then on the bottom, we have our voltage between the collector and emitter. And with these load cur or characteristic curves, you can actually, uh, uh, there's a couple of things you could do. You could design an amplifier from it, uh, find the load line, look for the Q. Uh, and with uh, calculations, you can actually build a transistor amplifier. Or what you can do is you can uh, compare, compare two transistors to see if the characteristics are the same. Perhaps you want to match them. So that's what we're going to build. We're going to build a device that will display that curve on an oscilloscope. And what you're looking at now is the author's version of it. I hope to get something very similar, and I hope it works, first of all. And, of course, now we're looking at the schematic. And so that use, it's a pretty, it looks simple, and the board is pretty simple. And it uses a programmable uh, unijunction transistor. Now, I've never even heard of one of those, quite frankly. So what we're going to do is we'll build it. And we'll, hopefully it works, and we'll put it on the scope to see exactly what's happening. And perhaps I can demonstrate that. So let's uh, gather the parts together and the board, and I'll bring you back in. Okay, so I've gathered the parts. Now, the only part that I'm missing is the PUT, or the uh, programmable, programmable Unit Junction Transistor. I've got a couple sources for that, so but I will have to order that. And yeah, there's not a lot of parts. So this is fantastic. And I've had a lot of the parts already. And in fact, this transistor here, it's great for magnetics, is uh, I have a lot of those only because I scrapped them out. So it's good to keep your old parts, is what I'm trying to say. In any event, uh, there's the board. I've already etched it. I'm not going to bore you with the details. I'll drill it out and I'll put the components on and then hopefully I'll have a working circuit and I'll bring it back in. Okay, so it is done and I'm still sick. If you watched one of my previous videos, I was just getting sick and now it's a week and a half later and I'm still sick, but I think I'm getting better. Um, anyway, this project is done. As you can see, there's not much to it. I was just waiting for that programmable unijunction uh, transistor that put, well, I got it. It is that TO92K style uh, device there. And I've just got my GoPro uh, connected to it. But in any event, it's all done. Let me show you what um, a curve looks like. Okay, there it is. Now, it's nothing to write home about. Obviously, the quality isn't the greatest. Now, so I'm just changing the steps. And the more steps I give this device, it's a 2N3904 I've got put in here. Um, as you can see, it's blinking. It's uh, It looks less blinky if you're looking actually at the scope, but it's it's obviously horrible, right? Um, but it is doing what it's advertised, this project. And, you know, the more I read it, the more I realized this is pretty much bare bones curve tracer. And in fact, I was actually working on another curve tracer project but I couldn't get it to work. Um, but there was similarities in terms of how this one worked. Um, th another thing that they didn't really tell you inside in, in the instructions was that it only works for PNP or sorry, NPN. So PNPs won't work. And there are some uh, small circuits they describe in the actual article. Uh, you can build kind of like a jig for a FET and other types of transistors. Um, but 
I'm not going to go that far. And in fact, I'm just going to leave this project as is. Oh, by the way, let me just adjust the current or collector voltage. And you can see the curve starting there. I mean, it, it gives you a general description of the transistor, but you really can't get much out of it, I think. It's too low grade. There's probably better ones out there. And the next time I find a better curve tracer project, I'll definitely build it. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to put this in a case. It, I don't think it deserves it. Uh, it can only do NPN transistors, and what's the point, right? If I want a curve tracer, I want something that can do everything. So that will probably come in the future. But for now, I'm going to call this project done. It works. It works as advertised. Unfortunately, the advertising isn't the greatest. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, ha if you haven't seen some of my other videos, go check them out. And I appreciate you watching. Bye for now.